Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Lucky from Lanes of Mastery. Um, this is my review with um, the episode with Bryn Drescher. Uh, Bryn is a um, mind coach, mindset coach, and things like that. And so um, I wanna do my review for her, the things that I've learned, the five things I learned uh, from Bryn uh, in our episode, uh, in no particular order. Number one, I, 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 one of the first things I really took away from Bryn was self-awareness when she was talking about her journey as a, you know, as an athlete and coming out of that into what she wanted to start doing with herself uh, professionally after graduating college. And her self-awareness, just knowing what her skills were, what her strengths were, um, what she wanted to do with things that she felt talented and strong with, and how she kind of applied that and took that into um, took that, you know, kind of created that road or that path into what she's doing today. Um, so one of the first things I took away was just self-awareness, being aware of who you are, what your strengths are, your weaknesses are, skills are, talents are, your likes, your loves, as far as things that you really enjoy doing, and how she really kind of talked about that journey and really identifying um, those things and carving out a lane or establishing a lane that she could pursue that she really enjoyed and felt accentuated her strengths and and her desires and her likes. So that's number one, just that self-awareness. Uh, number two, I like also how, um, well, another thing I learned was from Bryn was adaptability as far as her, um, her obvious wisdom in, in, in crafting messages and, and teaching in a way where people could be reached wherever they are and however they were. What they believed in as far as whether it's religious or non-religious or just just being able to work with people with varying levels of knowledge, beliefs, and things like that to still be able to get through to them to reach them. I, I see how I see how she is able to um, move in ways that and, and, and adapt and adjust her her teaching and what she says and how she says it to reach the target audience or whether it's an individual or a team or a class or whatever or whomever she's talking to. So I really liked her her the 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 the, the maturity and the wisdom that she exhibits with her adaptability. So I would say that's the second thing. Third thing is uh, that I learned is um or, or that I really appreciated was um, the array of people that she works with, not just people, but teams, um, uh, you know, actual organizations, teams, uh, individuals. Um, I, you know, her, her doing her morning meetup as far as hosting that, her just all the different types of things that accentuate all of her skills and her talents and abilities and her ability to relate, to teach, to inspire, to motivate, to encourage, to inform, to educate, all the different things that she does. Um, I like how she's taken all of her skills and really apply those across a litany of, or a variety of areas um, in life that she's able to reach so many more people as a result. I really like that. Um, number four, um, I liked or I learned um, How can I say it? Um, I liked her. I liked her courage and her confidence. I liked the way that she presents herself in a way that you can feel her, um, feel her, her, her authority, feel her, her talent, her skill, her authority, feel the skills that she has and that she's home. Um, it's it's a very potent, powerful mix, as well as a calming and um, just almost like a almost like when a child knows their parent is there. There's a there's a calm safety you feel when someone just has a a a powerful presence, the way they present themselves and the way they the way they present themselves. And I really 
really took that from her. I could really feel that from her when we were speaking um, and, and when she was on the podcast. So I really took away just her presentation and the way she presented herself, the way she came across. Um, and you could tell there was wisdom and information and knowledge and experience and education, all the things. So that was something else that, that I really took away from her and really took something from. Um, and the last thing is just kind of similar to one of the earlier ones is just the, the value and the power of doing something you love, that you're passionate about, that you enjoy, that you feel that, that you feel is your lane, that you really feel fits you and, and um, that you're passionate about, that you enjoy, that is, that is just something that's an extension of you, that you're able to, to share uh, with others and help others with and by. And I really, I really, I really, I really, it's almost that thing where it feels like, you know, if you do what you love, you'll never work another day in your life. She exhibited that to me. I, I felt that from her. I felt the joy and the passion and the love that she has for what she's doing and, um, and, and um, how, how that comes across to others. That same love and that same joy, I think everyone receives. And that same knowledge and information and passion and potency. I think everything that she is, she's able to give to whomever she's working with because of it, because of her being in her lane, um, because of the joy and the passion that she has while she's there and as a result of it. So um, those are my five things I learned with Coach Bryn. Um, I appreciate her coming onto the podcast. And um, I think there, these are some definite things that we can all take away along with whatever things you guys uh, as listeners took away yourself. Thanks, and we'll circle back.